Hello again from Elation Productions. Today I'm going to show you a project of mine I've pretty much finished up. Uh, this is my vacuum former. And as you can see, the top half consists of a pre-bought unit that I bought to save a little bit of time and get this thing done quicker. And the lower half is consisting of pretty much the original design I had in mind as far as the uh, air and vacuum source goes. Uh, first looking at the, the heater unit, the top section here, uh, this is a central form unit. This is their 18 by 27 inch, their bigger model. And this is a very nice, well-built machine, all stainless steel construction. Should be easy to keep clean. And the heating elements on this are divided into two 120 volt heaters, each drawing twelve and a half amps a piece and there you can see the two heating elements later on I might try and I think you can uh, use just one or the other and shrink the size of this down looking at the available sizes of plastic that's one of the drawbacks of this larger machine is it's kind of an odd size actual for clamping area in this uh, in the clamp here I need a sheet that's going to be at least 32 inches by 24 inches roughly. It's kind of an odd size opposed to smaller stuff that's more readily available like say one foot by one foot or one foot by two foot. But it seems to be a pretty decent unit and I think it will work out well. And moving along to our vacuum source here you can see uh, for air going into the unit I have ports for both a high volume, low pressure air and a low volume, high pressure air or vacuum I should say. And for this, the one, the blue tubing, that is uh, basically the sort of tubing you might find for say a vacuum for your pool or something like that. I found this at the local hardware store and this was being sold for uh, whatever, I don't recall the price per foot, but it's nice that you can buy stuff like that per foot instead of buying, you know, 20 feet of it. It's a nice flexible hose. Uh, it seems plenty strong for its purpose. And likewise, I got this braided, um, it's a urethane, some sort of, some sort of flexible plastic reinforced hose for water and different things like that very high tensile strength or that but more importantly it's a pretty stiff material where it won't collapse under a vacuum either just like the other hose and I have that going in the side here and we will go around the back and I will show you what's underneath now underneath here I've got this setup which I built myself this is consisting of three two gallon tanks all divisible by two gallon increments the way I have it uh, piped up here so I have a total of six gallons of vacuum on hand off uh, right off the bat I'm not sure if that's going to be enough but I think that's uh, pretty good to start with uh, any compensation for that though I have this uh, little half horsepower uh, air compressor which I'm using for a vacuum pump it doesn't work perfect for a vacuum pump. It won't draw a full vacuum but it will draw about 25 inches of mercury which is not bad. Not a full vacuum but the volume that it will draw down is better than comparable vacuum pumps would be. So it's kind of a, a trade-off between volume and uh, low pressure draw that it'll take. And we'll move up here and you can see I've got all the wiring from the back for keeping control on, uh, on basically on and off switches for my air compressor and for my vacuum motor, the high volume low pressure vacuum. There I have a gauge for manifold vacuum and on and off uh, valve for uh, dumping the tanks that runs from the vacuum tanks. And in this jumbled mess here, I have my vacuum motor. 
I am not quite sure what that's rated at horsepower wise. Um, I believe that we'll draw about a, somewhere between 100 and 120 uh, cubic feet a minute of air. And supposedly it should draw about, oh, I want to say somewhere between 5 and 10 inches of mercury, which is pretty good. Supposedly this is about a five or six hundred dollar unit which I got um, probably was new old stock. It's brand new motor for 125 bucks. And from what I can tell so far it seems to work very well. As you can see, beyond the 230 that this thing runs on coming out of it, I also have some more wires and those actually regulate speed. This motor is an electronically regulated um, three-phase motor. It runs off standard 230 current in, but there's some sort of uh, electronic uh, speed control regulator that uh, drives what's actually a brushless motor in there. And I have that coming out. It's very easy to do, easier than I first anticipated, because it has its own 12-volt source um, coming out and then putting it back after this little potentimeter I have hooked up to it. I'd say 100,000 ohm potentimeter. They actually recommend a 500 ohm, but for my tests, I've seen that this thing will only run down to about 120 or 140 ohms. So we're getting the majority of our speed regulation out of a and a lot better proportion out of that. Uh, 100,000 ohm pot there. Let me show you how this runs. I've got it all plugged in. First I'll show you the air compressor. And you can see there's our manifold pressure. It's actually drawing enough air to where it's drawing that down even though our pollutant is totally open at the moment. Now there's certain check valves inside this unit that I think are restricting the airflow which helps to draw it down that fast. But let's shut that off. This will control the manifold here and you can see that kills that. But we're still building pressure down here on our main tanks. And we build up just under 25 inches where she stops. It draws down pretty quick, I think. And we're almost there, so I'll shut it off for now. And the valves inside the compressor seem to hold it well enough. But if I ever need to store this for longer term, I then have another valve to shut it off from the compressor and seal my tanks. And then, if need be, for releasing pressure from the uh, vacuum forming manifold there, I have this dump valve here, which will empty the tanks out. Now, starting off actually, what I would be doing would have a uh, the high volume low pressure dump of air. Now this is going to run the vacuum motor. You're not going to be able to hear me talk from it because this this is a very loud motor. And right here we've got our speed control here. I can turn this down. That's as low as it'll go there. Or I can turn it up. And she really screams. And that's basically all there is to it. It's a relatively simple machine. It took me a while to get everything wired up right and all that. Uh, I still would like to varnish the outside panels. 
make it a little more finished but uh, for the time being I'm going to run it just as is with the bare wood on the sides and uh, a sloppy looking rusted angle iron for the frame. Uh, in the corner then too you see I have one more panel. I've got panels that reach down about 11 inches from all sides and that'll cover up this back panel here once uh, it's all done, which it is. I'll cover that up later. But basically, that's the machine for you and hopefully be making parts on it soon. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And once again, thanks for watching.